uh, over the weekend on X, I saw some people referencing ICT central bankers dealing range. Um, and I noticed that, and I've heard that before, that the central bankers dealing range is very similar to quarterly theories defining range. And I just wanted to see them um, head to head, which is going to do better. Let's just quickly go over last week's price action just to see how they did side by side. Here we are on Friday, July 25th. Uh, let's see how we do. We're starting to form a new central banker's dealer range, um, and, you're, and I'll explain these uh, indicators. Now on the right, we have our central banker's dealing range. We have ES, central banker's dealing range, and Q, central banker's dealing range. It's gonna highlight the time frame for central banker's dealing range with a gray box. And on the left, we have the quarterly theory defining range. You're gonna see the time highlight for the defining range on the left and on ES on the left. Now targets are gonna be, typical high targets should be between uh, 1.5, 2, and 2.5 as an extreme high. Um, and the extreme lows are gonna be negative, or a normal low would be negative 0 0.5, negative one, very common lows, and negative 1.5 would be an extreme low. So let's carry on. We have our defining range formed fully, and we're starting to define our uh, quarterly theory defining range. Let's carry on. Okay, so now we have our targets for the day for both sides, and let's see how they do. You're gonna see some of these residual um, past labels for prior days disappear, uh, the labels for the correct labels for the day will have these solid lines on them. Okay, now we got rid of our residual labels from prior days, and we have our targets for uh, quarterly theory defined range on the left and ICT um, central banker stealing range on the right. Let's see how we did. This is a nice touch at the 1.5 level on the quarterly theory defined range, so that is a plus for quarterly theory. We have a nice touch at the bottom now for ES uh, on the lower targets. We have a great touch on the extreme low target. Let's see where we go. Uh, yes, so this is quite normal to find some uh, possible bullish dip bounces uh, in these value areas. Let's keep going. ES hanging out under the negative 1.5 is not very common super value area unless you're very bearish and the price action is very bearish then it can stay under which it is doing uh so the day is over central baker dealing range didn't really hit any targets while quarterly theory hit both um top and bottom targets which which was quite nice so i would give monday price action to quarterly theory to find a range so right now the um Results are one to zero. Uh, here we're forming a new central banker's dealing range. You have some residual labels that will disappear after the range is formed. Okay, now we're starting our quarterly theory defining range with this gray box, and we're gonna get rid of our residual labels here, but we do have our targets, which are the solid lines. So let's see how Tuesday does. All right, so Tuesday, um, we're in bullish price action on both ranges. Let's keep going, see how it does. We're in the London session right now. Okay, so we formed a weekly bearish sequential SMT and Q hitting over prior days high at the higher levels and central bankers dealing range had a nice touch at plus 1.5. All right, now NQ is going above the extreme level on quarterly theory defining range. And we are forming another, uh, uh, I guess YM took its London low. So maybe that is a bullish sequential daily SMT. And it looks like ES has found a high of the day in these typical ranges, which it looks like both CBDR and, and defining a range are doing quite well this day. We have now a weekly bullish sequential SMT. Why I'm taking the prior days low with this blue line. All right, let's go see. Uh, so 
quarterly theory defined range went quite nicely from highs to low targets. It found the high of day and potentially could have given you exits at low of day targets. I think both did quite well since CBDR did hit one of the t high targets, uh, but quarterly theory might have squeaked it ahead. So um, I'd say this is a tie. So we got two, let's say two to one. Quarterly theory still ahead on its defined range. We're forming a new CBDR. Now we're forming a new quarterly theory defined range. Let's see how they do. All right, now we have our targets for the day. Highs, lows, highs, lows. CBDR is a much wider range and that's okay. Let's go see. No hits yet on either side. Now we're in New York AM session. Got kind of a hit um, or very close to it on the top of the range. Let's see. We did form a weekly bullish sequential SMT. YM taking its prior day low. Here we have a nice hit. CBDR not hit yet um, for a potential high of day. And let's keep seeing. All right. Now we have some daily cycle sequential SMT in the New York PM session. Let's see if this can be a high of day. Yes, it is. So quarter theory gave you a very nice high of day and targeting low, low uh, targets, or it, at the very least, if you were bullish, you could have your uh, exits up here and avoid getting stopped out here. All right, here we go. Now this is Wednesday, this is FOMC day. So we're forming quite a large CBDR range um, in, on the quarterly theory divine range. It went from lows to highs. So basically, um, it gave you nice uh, value entries if you were bullish down here on FOMC um, and exits back at the top. I would say um, quarterly theory defined range did win on Wednesday. So let's call this three to one for the verdict for last week so far. Let's go into Thursday. Thursday was high of week. Let's see what the CBDR versus defined range gave us as targets. Okay. All right, so now we have our targets for both CBDR. And I can tell you already that we did not reach this on Thursday overnight, but we did reach this on Thursday overnight. This was the high of the month, uh, the last day of the month trading on July 31st. Okay, so that is a nice, perfect touch at 1.5. Um, ES also hit it. This could potentially be your bearish entry or an area to now look for bearish entries. Um, based on the quarterly through defined range. And then it's going to give you your low targets. Uh, so I would say Thursday, let's give it to quarterly theory defined range. So we're at four to one. Now we are below the lowest targets on the quarterly theory defined range. Let's continue to see how uh, price plays out. So the CBDR range was quite large, so the projections are also quite large. Um, and I believe Thursday did come to these lower areas because it ended up being quite bearish. Let's see. Oh, it looks like let's let's go back to right before this finished. How did we do? It actually didn't hit any of the targets. It stayed within the range. Um, while quarter theory defined range hit both sides and dipped even lower, looks like YM gave us a weekly bullish sequential SMT again, um, even though the following day is going to be bearish as well. But I'd say quarterly theory won on this date, so definitely at four to one as a verdict for last week. Let's carry on a Friday. All right, we're starting to form a new quarter, uh, ICT CBDR for Friday. Let's see what price targets it gives us. All right, so we fully formed our ICT CBDR. We have our price targets in the 600s and the lows in under 2300, 23,000. Um, in the quarterly theory defined range, it is now fully formed. We have targets at 2400, which I do not believe it went up there, but the low targets, it did go low, go below the lowest targets. Let's carry on and see how price went. All right, so CBDR 
nice uh, low touch here. Um, the so I would say the CBDR was quite nice. It could give you bearish exits there. Um, also, quarterly theory defined range could give you these bearish exits if you're if you were swinging bearish. It did go below, so let's carry on. We're in the New York PM session, and we're going to be starting to form a new CBDR. Yes, look at that. Oh, actually, nope. We are in the New York AM session. We went quite under, which is unusual for the quarterly theory defined range. And the CBDR did quite nicely to target its lows. I would give Friday to quarterly theory CBDR. So we're going to leave the verdict at four to two. One of the days counted for both CBDR and ICT defined range. So this was quite interesting. This is my initial testing of quarterly theory CBDR just for a week. I'm going to test it over 100 days. And post it in another video the results to see which truly is superior ict cbdr versus quarterly theory defined range thanks so much for watching